Imagine gliding effortlessly over towering mountains, not in a fantasy novel or a sci-fi film, but in reality. In China, this remarkable feat has become possible through advanced engineering and massive investments in hydroelectric power. As the world's leader in hydropower production, generating 391 gigawatts of the global 1,060 gigawatts total, China has built some of the most powerful dams on Earth, including the record-breaking Three Gorges Dam and the colossal Baihetan Dam. Beyond energy production, these structures have led to an innovation that defies expectations, ships appearing to float over mountains. Lifting a massive vessel over a towering obstacle may seem like an engineering fantasy, yet China has made it a reality with one of the world's most advanced shiplift systems. Near the Gupitan Dam in Guizhou Province, a vertical lift enables vessels to traverse extreme elevation changes with ease, eliminating barriers imposed by rugged terrain and hydroelectric dams. This high-tech solution seamlessly integrates mechanical engineering with sustainable infrastructure, reinforcing China's dominance in hydropower and transportation innovation. Unlike many countries with naturally navigable rivers, China's waterways are challenged by severe elevation changes, mountainous landscapes, and complex hydrology. The construction of mega dams like the Three Gorges and Baihatan has further heightened these challenges, creating barriers that impede upstream and downstream navigation. Traditional lock systems, useful for moderate elevation changes, are ineffective against the extreme height variations imposed by these massive structures, necessitating a more advanced solution. Water transport remains one of the most cost-effective and energy-efficient methods of moving goods. The Yangtze River alone carries over 3 billion tons of cargo annually, making it China's busiest inland trade route. However, without an efficient way to bypass high elevation dam reservoirs, the economic potential of these waterways would be severely restricted. While these dams are crucial for producing clean energy, they disrupt river navigation, cutting off inland cities from coastal trade routes. China's commitment to infrastructure expansion is closely tied to its economic and military strategies, making rapid and efficient inland navigation essential. In a conflict scenario, the swift movement of naval and supply vessels across China's interior could be vital for national defense. Additionally, the development of shiplifts enhances China's position as a global leader in infrastructure technology, setting the stage for future megaprojects. With ongoing urbanization and a growing demand for efficient transport, investment in ship lifts and aqueduct systems ensures that water transport remains viable. Pioneering such solutions today lays the groundwork for a fully integrated high-tech waterway network that will sustain China's dominance in infrastructure for decades to come. The Gupitan ship lift exemplifies this vision by offering a revolutionary approach to overcoming geographical obstacles. Unlike conventional locks that gradually adjust water levels through multiple chambers, this system directly lifts entire ships in a single controlled motion, drastically reducing transit times. Capable of lifting vessels up to 1,800 tons, it reshapes river transport by allowing large ships to bypass hydroelectric dams with remarkable efficiency. The lift addresses the fundamental issue of dams creating impassable barriers, restoring seamless connectivity for trade and commerce. Guizhou Province, characterized by rugged landscapes and fast-flowing rivers, presents significant logistical challenges for inland shipping. Large dams in the region, essential for electricity generation, would typically force vessels to unload cargo, transport goods overland, and reload onto another ship, a time-consuming and costly process. The Gupitan ship lift eliminates this inefficiency, enabling cargo ships and passenger vessels to continue their journeys without interruption. Approaching the system, vessels enter a specially designed canal that guides them to the vertical lifting structure. The highly automated process ensures precise alignment before the lift engages. Once inside the chamber, the ship is raised or lowered hundreds of feet within minutes, significantly improving river navigation. The system operates much like an enormous elevator, using high tensile steel cables and massive counterweights to balance loads efficiently. These cables, wound around giant drums controlled by precision gearboxes, ensure smooth and stable motion. Unlike dry dock lifts, the ship lift transports vessels in a sealed, water-filled compartment, reducing hull stress and enhancing safety. Stability sensors maintain perfect balance throughout the process, preventing any tilting or shifting. 
Traditional lock systems require ships to wait through multiple stages of water level adjustment, sometimes taking hours. In contrast, the Gupatan ship lift completes the lifting process in just 10 minutes for a 500-ton vessel, with only a slight increase in time for heavier loads. This efficiency has profound economic implications, reducing shipping costs and improving the reliability of inland cargo transport. In an economy reliant on the swift movement of industrial goods, agricultural products, and raw materials, such advancements provide a competitive edge. At full operation, the lift raises ships to an elevation of 653 feet, equivalent to a 66-story skyscraper, making it one of the tallest operational ship lifts in the world. For perspective, the Great Pyramid of Giza stands at 456 feet, while the Statue of Liberty, including its pedestal, reaches 305 feet. Compared to renowned ship lifts like the Three Gorges Dam ship lift and the Strepitur boat lift in Belgium, China's system stands as a monumental engineering achievement. Beyond its structural prowess, the ship lift bolsters regional trade by ensuring uninterrupted river transport, reducing reliance on road and rail freight, and cutting fuel consumption. This groundbreaking technology redefines inland navigation, positioning China at the forefront of global infrastructure innovation. River transport is one of the most cost-effective and environmentally friendly methods of moving goods, making innovations like China's ship lift an essential step towards sustainability. Unlike traditional navigation solutions, this system preserves water levels, reducing waste and ensuring a more sustainable transport network. Encouraging river-based transport over fuel-heavy road and rail alternatives lowers greenhouse gas emissions while maintaining a stable aquatic environment, minimizing stress on marine ecosystems. This groundbreaking engineering achievement is more than a technological marvel. It represents the future of inland water transport. By overcoming the obstacles posed by hydroelectric dams and rugged terrain, this system proves that infrastructure can harmonize with nature. Its impact extends beyond China, setting new benchmarks in global engineering and showcasing the possibilities of advanced infrastructure. The concept of moving ships over mountains is no longer science fiction, but a reality that enhances efficiency, trade, and environmental conservation. With unmatched effectiveness and sustainability, this innovation ensures that waterways remain open and accessible for future generations. A multi-stage lift system enables vessels to traverse extreme elevation changes efficiently. Instead of a single vertical lift, three interconnected stages work together to overcome height differences that would otherwise make navigation impossible. This approach optimizes cargo transport, creating a seamless waterway through complex hydroelectric dam structures. Unlike conventional locks that gradually adjust water levels in multiple steps, this system lifts and lowers ships in a rapid, sequential process, significantly reducing transit times and increasing transport capacity. The journey begins as a vessel enters the first lift chamber, where it is elevated 417 feet, comparable to a 40-story skyscraper. At this point, the ship has already surpassed the height of the Statue of Liberty. It then moves to the second lift, reaching a total elevation of 653 feet, the equivalent of a 66-story building. This ensures ships can surpass dam heights while maintaining stability. Finally, the vessel enters the last stage, where it is lowered 154 feet to merge seamlessly with the downstream river. This efficient sequence eliminates the delays and complexities associated with traditional lock systems. By operating multiple lifts in parallel, this system prevents bottlenecks, ensuring smooth and continuous movement of ships. While one vessel ascends in the first chamber, another progresses in the second, and a third descends in the final stage. This synchronized process allows more ships to pass through daily, improving trade efficiency and reducing shipping delays. Conventional lock systems can take hours to complete a single adjustment, but this advanced mechanism dramatically accelerates the process, keeping China's inland waterways fast, reliable, and economically vital. Constructing such a large-scale lift system required innovative engineering solutions. The immense weight of the ships necessitated reinforced steel frameworks, counterbalance mechanisms, and hydraulic dampers to ensure durability. Synchronization was a critical challenge, requiring advanced automation to keep the lifts operating in perfect harmony. Fail-safe mechanisms, including backup power supplies and real-time monitoring sensors, were integrated to prevent mechanical failures, ensuring uninterrupted operations. 
This combination of engineering precision and automation makes the system not only effective but also exceptionally safe. Beyond its technological achievements, this innovation has significant economic and environmental benefits. Faster and more reliable transport lowers costs for businesses, strengthens trade networks, and makes shipping more fuel-efficient than land-based alternatives. By enhancing inland water transport, it reduces fossil fuel consumption and minimizes carbon emissions. Unlike lock systems that require continuous water level adjustments, this lift minimizes displacement, preserving aquatic ecosystems. The success of this multi-stage lift demonstrates that even the most extreme geographical challenges can be overcome with ingenuity, ensuring that China's rivers remain a critical artery for commerce and sustainability. To bridge the gaps between these massive lifts, an engineered aqueduct system plays a crucial role. In mountainous regions where traditional river navigation is impractical, this artificial waterway connects the various lift stages into a single, continuous transit corridor. Instead of relying on fragmented riverbeds, which are disrupted by steep inclines and dams, engineers developed a stable, navigable passage. This solution eliminates inefficient stop-and-go navigation, transforming disconnected reservoirs into a cohesive water route that allows ships to move seamlessly across extreme altitudes. Excavating a man-made river through rugged terrain posed significant challenges. Engineers had to carve precise pathways using advanced tunnel boring technology, reinforcing embankments to prevent landslides and collapses. Ensuring a consistent water level was crucial, leading to the integration of hydraulic control systems to regulate flow and depth, avoiding turbulence or sudden current shifts. Reinforced concrete channeling was used to minimize erosion, preserving the structure's longevity. A key aspect of this aqueduct system is its flawless transition between ship lifts. Precision docking mechanisms allow vessels to exit the lifts and enter the aqueduct without delays. Adaptive water level adjustments ensure smooth movement, preventing abrupt shifts that could destabilize ships. These innovations create a resilient, efficient transport network capable of supporting continuous shipping traffic. By enabling seamless transport across previously impassable elevations, this system is not just a technological breakthrough, it is a transformative advancement in waterway navigation. The integration of multiple lifts and a strategically engineered aqueduct optimizes efficiency, making river transport more accessible, reducing reliance on land-based alternatives, and minimizing environmental impact. As China continues expanding its infrastructure, projects like this reaffirm its position as a global leader in engineering and sustainable development, ensuring that its inland waterways remain an essential part of trade and commerce for decades to come. China has long demonstrated its expertise in large-scale infrastructure projects, and the aqueduct system stands as a testament to its engineering prowess. With a history of constructing some of the world's most complex underground transport networks, the country applied this expertise to develop an artificial waterway seamlessly integrated with ship lifts, hydroelectric stations, and high-altitude reservoirs. This advanced design allows vessels to navigate challenging terrain efficiently while maintaining ecological balance. Unlike conventional dams that disrupt natural habitats, aqueducts offer a sustainable alternative that minimizes environmental impact. The success of this system underscores that no terrain is beyond human capability, setting a precedent for similar innovations worldwide. China's infrastructure advancements extend far beyond individual projects, marking its rapid ascent as a global leader in engineering. Massive hydroelectric projects such as the Three Gorges Dam and Bai Hatan Dam generate unparalleled amounts of energy, powering entire regions with renewable resources. Meanwhile, the South to North Water Diversion Project delivers billions of cubic meters of water annually to arid regions, demonstrating the nation's ability to reshape landscapes to meet critical demands. At the same time, China has revolutionized transportation, building the largest high-speed rail network in history. Spanning tens of thousands of miles, this system connects major cities with trains exceeding speeds of 350 km OH, reducing travel times dramatically. The introduction of maglev trains, reaching 600 km OH, pushes the limits of ground transportation, making long-distance travel faster and more efficient than ever before. Iconic routes such as the Beijing-Shanghai Corridor serve millions of passengers annually, underscoring China's mastery of integrating speed, efficiency, and mass transit. Bridges stand as another testament to China's engineering capabilities. 
From the world's longest sea crossing bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, to the record breaking Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, the nation continues to defy geographical constraints. The Beipanjiang Bridge, soaring at extreme altitudes, further exemplifies China's ability to construct infrastructure in even the most challenging environments. Infrastructure development is not limited to physical expansion. It is becoming increasingly intelligent. China is leading the way in smart urban planning by integrating artificial intelligence into transportation and city management. AI-powered highways designed for autonomous vehicles and real-time traffic control systems reduce congestion and enhance efficiency. Cities like Shenzhen and Hangzhou leverage facial recognition, data tracking, and AI-driven governance to streamline public services and urban planning, setting a global standard for intelligent infrastructure. China's ambitions reach far beyond its borders through the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, an unprecedented global development strategy. Spanning over 140 countries, this vast network of railways, highways, ports, and digital infrastructure is reshaping international trade. High-speed rail links connect China to Europe, slashing transportation times, while strategically placed ports in Asia, Africa, and Europe strengthen its economic influence. In addition to transportation, investments in power generation and telecommunications position China at the forefront of global infrastructure dominance. History has shown that world powers rise on the foundation of strong infrastructure. From ancient road networks to modern highways and rail systems, nations that control transportation, energy, and trade routes dictate the course of global affairs. With unmatched advancements in hydropower, high-speed transit, and digital connectivity, China is securing its role as the world's central economic and technological hub. By building the fastest transport networks, the most advanced renewable energy systems, and an intercontinental trade network, it is shaping the future of global commerce. While other nations struggle with aging infrastructure and political stagnation, China is forging ahead at an unprecedented pace. The scale, speed, and innovation behind its projects suggest that it is not merely competing with global powers, it is surpassing them. By 2035, China aims to establish a fully integrated AI-powered transport and energy system, creating the most advanced infrastructure network in the world. By 2050, its economic and geopolitical influence is projected to eclipse all competitors, driven by relentless expansion and technological superiority. Its space exploration programs are poised to lead in extraterrestrial infrastructure development, reinforcing the idea that whoever builds the future controls it. Right now, China is building bigger, faster, and smarter than anyone else. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. And be sure to check out the next video on your screen. It's truly astonishing.